Hi everyone, welcome to Color Conversations with Crawford Street. I'm Tanner and it's a pleasure to be here talking about color with you guys. Today's um, color that we're discussing is Sherwin-Williams 7036 Accessible Beige. Um, it's LRV is 58, so it's a lighter medium. Oh my gosh, this is such a great color. It's not like color, you know, like when I hold it up, it's like kind of the color of our filing cabinet. Um, but it is, oh, it's so nice and creamy, but with enough muted undertone, you know, enough uh, towards almost an ashy creamy um, is the best way to describe it because it's more like a flat creamy you know and it's not like a yellowy creamy and it's not like a a brown tan it's just like a flat um just beige color it's very very nice so um it's funny because you know we always say over the last especially the last 10 years white became so popular and people just wanted white walls and white cabinetry and white you know was just such a big player and now we're kind of transitioning into where people are like, I need color. I know I just don't want white. Um, or a combination, you know, it's just, it's just that people want to start infusing a little bit of warmth, a little bit of life into their palette, you know, because a very white and gray palette, although very clean and and modern feeling and nice feeling and um, definitely stylish feeling it can feel cold and so people are starting to want to infuse just some natural warmth into um you know where what has been a mostly white especially for a base color or accent color um you know it's, it's just been mostly white and people are kind of starting to to gravitate more towards a little bit of color in that 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 lightest base color. So, um, so in, in saying that, this is obviously a wonderful trim color. It's beautiful. If you have any sort of um, deeper medium or even a lighter color, uh, it's gonna just play so subtly. Um, beautiful. It's going to just highlight and accent so well because it's not stark, you know, and it's not bold in any way. Um, but it is nice and clean and crisp. So it's a great trim color, great cabinetry color. If you want cabinetry, but you're like, I don't want gray, I don't want white, especially if you have a piece with um, uh, with movement to it, you know, uh, not so much of a like a, a straight modern piece, uh, but you know, something maybe with curved legs or um, fleur-de-lis accents or whatever that may be, this is gonna play, it's just so, pretty um that that it's really good on any any wood base uh so so it's great for trims it's great for accenting it's great for highlighting beautiful for doors um and and let me say while we're on the trim thing that you don't have to do all of your trim all the same way so we have clients who have white trim throughout their house but they want to just incorporate a little bit of tan Per se, without like I said, not without, not going brown, not going yellow, but just a little bit of, you know, because if you have baskets anywhere or jute rugs or, um, you know, wood even, this is just going into that color family, but just enough to where you're just kind of introducing a warm color. Um, so you could do this on just your window trim. You could do this on just your interior doors. You could do this on just your interior doors and door trim. You could do this on just closet doors. You can um, incorporate this. It doesn't have to be, you know, your trim work doesn't have to be all or nothing. You can do this on just your baseboards and your doors, on just your baseboards alone. It, you know, it doesn't have to be all or nothing. So again, look at your room and, and think about what your goals are and why you're here. Why are you needing or interested in a color that's like accessible beige, you know, because because then start thinking about, well, then where should it go? Uh, you know, what, what am I trying to do with this color? You know? Um, 
so it's beautiful to incorporate with white do you see how nicely it plays it's it's a different enough shade and a different enough depth level to still contrast still have you know these are different but in a in a bigger picture format if you have color over here and deep tone somewhere and greenery somewhere these are really going to blend nicely together and like i said it's just going to take the starkness of wherever you have white whether that's on your walls or on your other trim or in your cabinetry and it's just going to introduce just start getting into that natural warmth of color you know so that's interior it's oh just it's it's so great like if you have um a lot of people would like this color if you um have a fireplace and it's kind of got um, a marble look and you want to lighten it up but you don't want to go white um you know and you don't want to go brown but you still want to play especially if you have um brick anywhere you know surrounding that then this is going to play so nice into that speaking of brick on the exterior this is a beautiful color for the exterior. So obviously, like we said, trim, it's gonna play so nice. It's natural warmth. So when and if it gets any natural sunlight, it just plays even creamier. And again, not in like a yellow or a, a tan way, just a, just a, a nice warmth um, that plays so well with with white already if you have a white house if you're interested in a white house but you don't want a white house with black trim you don't want a white house with white trim uh this is a, a great color to introduce into an exterior palette that is that is mostly white you know um and this also is a beautiful main color because like i said it's beautiful in anything wood it's beautiful in anything with dimension or texture because of how pretty the color is because of its undertone of you know is it brown? Is it cream? Is it yellow? Is it, you know, what is that? Um, it plays so well when it has multiple levels and dimensions to play on. So um, it's beautiful that it's beautiful as a brick color. If you get this in a masonry paint, um, th this is beautiful as a brick color. It gives you the, um, especially if you, if you have a dated brick or a brick that feels very um, incomplete or you had a di an addition and your bricks don't really match or whatever that may be, this is such a nice lightening and brightening and um, bringing it all together look and effect without being stark white or without looking like the same white that, that every other brick house, you know, feels like everyone's doing. Um, this is such a, a just it's a nice, approachable, um, easy to introduce, you know, into a lot of different landscapes and backgrounds and um, and and different other accent colors it, it plays so well with other colors um so interior exterior it's a beautiful color if you um like i said if you're here you already know that kind of this is your color family you know you've dialed it down to this um then then where is it that you need to put it and how does that need to be applied how much of it or you know what locations to make it uh balance out with with the rest of your house and what that whatever that goal is that you're using it for um if the ex, if it's the exterior you know think about your your natural lighting and your backdrops and your house's style and character and what you do actually want to show off and highlight um and if you need help with any of that then reach out our uh, email is Crawford street designs at gmail and um we'd love to help you if you need it just adjust or just confirm that this is your color um or like i said help you kind of pinpoint the locations that should go Again, the number is 7036, beautiful color. We have loved it um, and I'm fairly confident that you will probably love it too. Like I said, if this is kind of where you've ended up, I would say go for it. It's a beautiful color. Um, and if you guys want to have more color conversations, then follow along, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.